What's going on? A pluses, nerd mixes. Are we happy Bleach is back yet? Are we happy Bleach is back yet? Man, episode two, Foundation Stones. We had a lot going on. We had a lot going on. I mean, from each going and finding out uh, from the center head that they're, they're, what's actually going on. And then, like, it almost seemed like the person that was reporting it knew that the person they're reporting to was with each going them and he's trying to give them as much detailed information as possible because come on man they're gonna need the help because he started to show up killed the first the first division lieutenant and then like slaughtered a hundred other members you know what i'm saying in the first division in 182 seconds so three minutes they slaughtered a hundred people yeah we're gonna need ichigo to do his thing right not only that bro they're like they took over Hector Mundo, captured Harbell, and then are just using a, a ran car as fodder. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like cattle to the slaughter. You know what I'm saying? For war. Destroying them as they feel pleased. And just rounding them up and only taking the strongest ones back to use them as a tool to be able to win the war. It is nuts, man. I mean, you literally captured the leader of Hector Mundo and then just destroyed, destroyed, like, her three most powerful people, you know what I'm saying, under her. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't get, I don't get how you do that. Um... You, you you get you get our fellow Quincy not even wanting to help what's going on because like when they find out that uh, when Nail Nail shows up like when uh, Ichigo goes on patrol just like falls on top of him as, as she normally does because that's how Nail shows up I was really happy to see I like I swear like ee! when Nail showed up too I was really you know what I'm saying giddy about that when she popped up but she tells him what's going on in Hector Mundo and when he goes back to round up the team you already know. You already know. The the Poonani Quincy boy doesn't want to help because he doesn't want to help Hollows. But I think like Ichigo already knew that was gonna happen, let him stay there. So he's probably gonna do his investigative thing and see what's going on. I, I haven't read I only read part of the Thousand Year Blood War. So I don't even know if Yurio like teams up with like the Star Raiders or, or what goes on, but you, you get like uh anime only scenes of like uh him staring you know what i'm saying at his quincy charm uh kind of like um you kind of get uh him staring at his quincy charm you get ichigo like you know what i'm saying sitting down thinking about things you, you get like a moment of everybody you get chad running you get everybody's doing a moment of you know what i'm saying their own thing to to think about what just happened you know at simultaneously as they got like all the all the captains, you know what I'm saying, sitting there, um, uh, you know what I'm saying, mourning over the first lieutenant dying and what's going on. You got each going to realize and kind of like that, you know what I'm saying, war is a coming, but they don't know where it's coming from or who's doing what or where, you know what I'm saying. So you get, um, Star Ritter J when they get to Hunter Mundo, uh, Uriel helps them get down there. Um, they, they get there and they realize like things just destroyed these blue flames just burning you know what I'm saying around car alive so they take them over to uh, to to where they see like this 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 fight or whatever going on and when the, when the three get taken out because they feel the spiritual pressure like the beast three get taken out um which, which the which the Star Raider J, whatever, he's like the commander hunter, the commander of the hunter division that's that's rounding up the rat car, like takes them out easily. And then it kind of ends with uh, Ichigo, you know what I'm saying, seeing him one on one, but, the, but they kind of phase out for the face off. Now, uh, at the beginning of this episode, you get a new theme. It's kind of an upbeat thing that I really feel like it should have been more sober somber or whatever that word is like especially with what's going on and what it just happened at the end of episode one 
but then you get the theme at the end, you know what I'm saying, which is a little bit more somber. You know what I'm saying? I feel like both ends of the thing should have been like that, but maybe uh, Bleach is back. They want people excited. Bleach is back, so they decide to go with a with a, with a better thing. So we already know that at the beginning of the episode three, we're going to get this face-off between Stern Ritter J and Ichigo. Um, I'm curious to see what happens there. And uh, I, think they, I think they're trying to figure out an explanation on why whatever tool they use didn't take Ichigo's Bankai away. Now, that's going to be interesting in what goes on and how the captains fight because we know some of the captains can't fight without their Bankai and some of the attendants can't fight without their Bankai. Like, Rin... Every time I say Rinji's name, I yawn. I have no idea why. Um, so, it's going to be fr- pretty interesting on how they fight these Stern Ritters. And then, like, the, the fight between... Um, Harbell and the the leader of the Stern Ritters and just watching how he was lighting the sky up and just throwing Harbell around to the point where she even tells Dylan and to run and escape. I, I'm really curious to see what these power sets are and w- what's the difference in power between these two teams because this might be the biggest threat I feel since Eisen that um you know what I'm saying the the captains that went up against. So, I don't know. What did you guys think about that episode? It was pretty cool. I feel like it's setting up, you know what I'm saying, what's to come. I'm really geeked for episode three. And, hey, let me know what you thought about that in the comments below. Go ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We got a lot of more anime content dropping. Um, we're, we're figuring out a format, you know what I'm saying, to get that coming. Anime Assemble is coming back. We're just trying to uh, work everything out with kids being sick and different stuff like that, guys. We got a whole bunch coming for you guys, all right? So stay tuned. Subscribe to this Hero Report channel. And keep it A+. plus. This has been the Nerd Mix, India. If you want to see more anime content on this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know every time we drop a new content, man. The Anime Assemble crew is going to do their best to bring you reviews for everything anime. And don't forget about Anime Assemble coming back every Saturday, boy. We can't wait. Love you guys. I'm out.